Welcome back to another lab solution. In this video, we are going to see how to perform an attack with algorithm confusion attacks. Uh, these attacks occur when an attacker is able to force the server to verify a signature with another one. In particular, usually there is two types of signatures, symmetric and asymmetric. The difference from each other is that the asymmetric one has the private key and the public key. The public key to verify the signature and the uh, private key to access the the data, the pages, or the area of certain website. But as you can see uh, with this portion of code of JavaScript code, if you not, uh, if a developer do not handle in a decent way the two type of algorithm, you can trick uh, the as the access and use the public key uh, as either uh, private and public key. So uh, let's uh, try to exploit this lab. In this lab we will find an endpoint uh, where we can see the public key of the server. Usually this endpoint could be uh, jwks.json or dot well known JW as the JSON, but in this case is the first one, as you can see. And here we can find uh, the keys array. Here, uh, but inside there is just one key, and we copy it, and we follow the high-level step that Portswigger suggests us. So. Uh, Let's use Burp Sui to perform this attack. This key we need to copy it and save it into a generation of new RSA key in order to retrieve the PEM key. The PEM key is another type of another way to uh, represent this key usually is used for SSH protocol or other protocols and we need also to encode it in base64 we can use the decoder of burp suite and this string encoded we copy it and we will use it for a new symmetric key in this new symmetric key we can choose a random size because when we save it after we place the key uh, it will uh, update himself as you can see uh, now we have the the signing key to use to perform the attack so let's try to access the admin panel and delete the user Carlos now we need to log into the account we can use the normal credential, the typical one, Weiner and Peter. Let's use it. Now, if we send the request to the repeater, we can change the algorithm RS-256 to HS, which is the asymmetric one, and change the sub to administrator. Also, we need to change the endpoint to admin to verify that we are able to access. Uh, but one thing that we need to do is to sign the request with the key that we previously created and generated. So as you can see, now we are able to access into this page. So let's copy the key and let's save it into the browser, into the storage cookie so that we can perform the attack. As you can see, we are able to delete the user Carlos and we are able to solve the lab.
If you enjoy the content, please leave a like and subscribe. See you soon.